Alright, so in this video, we'll see how we can stop the drive. There are different methods. One of the two uh, most commonly used is ramp stop and co stop. Okay, now if you know what is a ramp, this is a ramp. When you have some some time by which you want your drive to stop. So let's see this figure. If your drive is running, when you press stop, stop according to deceleration time. You need that at certain time drive should stop, not immediately, not by its own inertia, but at certain time. This is required when you are running a conveyor, when you are running some fragile material on the conveyor, and when you press stop, it should stop slowly, slowly. That's called a ram stop. And the other one is co stop, in which the drive will respond. Uh, the drive will shut off, it will stop immediately, but the motor will keep on running, it will stop by its own inertia, that is a co stop. So by default, the drive is at ram stop. That is defined in parameter 107. Okay, let's see what is in that by default. So that is 106. It's zero, so it is ramp stop. Now, let me show you what is this ramp. So you might have noticed in earlier videos as well, when I run the drive, can you see this is the time taken by drive? This is not the stop, this is the acceleration. If I increase the frequency to 22.9, now when I stop the drive, can you see this time? This is the deacceleration time, by default inside that. That is a RAM stop. It's taking time to stop it. And there is some parameter which is associated with the RAM stop with P110. This is a deacceleration time. You can change that time. If you want a quick RAM, you can uh, reduce this time to minimum 0 0.1. Okay, so let's try that. Let's go to P110. Right now, this is by default at maximum, which is 10 seconds. 10 seconds is with respect to 50 hertz. So let me just reduce that to minimum. Let's say we have, oops, this is the maximum range, which is 600 seconds. This is unit is second. So minimum is 0 0.1, okay? So now you'll find a noticeable difference. Let me start the drive again. It's taking time to start because this is acceleration. This will do later. So when I stop it, it stops immediately. If you want to see the motor, let me show you the motor here. You can see it's running here, okay? When I press stop, see, it stops immediately. That is the ramp stop, in which you can reduce the speed to stop the drive immediately. Next is a co-stop. When you go to co-stop, this is 107. This will enable motor to run by its own inertia, okay? So when I start the drive here again, let's go to 22.3, when I stop it, motor will stop, but this motor will stop by its own inertia. Now that inertia depends upon motor to motor, okay? You cannot do anything about that. So this is my uh, internal gear motor. When I stop it, it will stop by its own inertia, like this one, okay? So that was about ramp stop and co-stop, the stop methods, two stop methods of the drive. Right. Thank you.